Hello, in this video we're going to go through the vocabulary for the song Days of Elijah. Now, the way these videos are set up, there's a vocabulary, there is a sung slowly, and then there's sung at the speed that it will be at uh, LTC. This one is the vocabulary. Work through this. Make sure that you get your vocabulary down. It is really important, and I say this at the beginning of every one of these vocabulary videos, because it's really important that you don't pick up the vocabulary in words. Because we don't speak in words. That may sound strange. That sounds like you know, I use words all the time. But we really don't speak in words. We speak in sentences. I don't say, these are the days of Elijah. I say, these are the days of Elijah. Or, these are the days of Elijah. I don't have individual words. So, as you go through this, I really strongly encourage you to learn it in phrases. All of these songs have phrases. So I, I really encourage you, do it in phrases. It'll also help you to remember it when you get there and start to do this in front of everybody. Alright, with that said, these are the days of Elijah. Okay, these. Hold out your hand and just take a finger and just kind of run it across. I'm going to go sideways every once in a while so you can see what it looks like from the side. But these are, and it's a letter R, and it comes off the chin and just comes straight out. These are, and in sign language, a lot of little words that we use to make sentences sound right are just left out in sign language. The is one of those words. A is another one, and is another one. The, you'll, you'll see, the little words that we use to connect things up in sentences oftentimes are left out. So, these are the days. Okay? The days. And it's like you're pointing to the sun, coming up, and setting. Of. And you can leave the word of out. It's one of those little words. It doesn't need to be signed. If you feel like you must sign it, just do of. O, F. That's all it is. It's just spelling it. And it just looks like a sign because it's so quick and fast. Of. So these are the days of Elijah. If we were preaching, or if I were hearing this as part of a lesson or a Bible class, I would spell out the word Elijah. But you really don't want to do any finger spelling in a song. Okay? So what you what we're gonna do is we're gonna sign Elijah. Now in this song we're gonna see that there's a conflict here, but it's really only a conflict to us. It's not really a conflict for the deaf. There is a sign for prophet. In sign language, your fingertips are where your eyeballs are, okay? So I can look up and look down, look around, look over in circles, look over the fence, whatever, okay? And the sign for hidden is like hide it under a bushel, yes, you know, that old song we used to sing, okay? Uh, but hidden, all right? Now a prophet is a person that sees what is hidden, okay? Follow me on that one? So the sign for prophet is prophet. It's like seeing what is hidden. And it just travels kind of underneath the hand and up again. That's a sign for prophet. Now if we were to put the letter E on that instead of the eyes and do E coming up, that is the prophet Elijah. Okay? Now, later in the song, we're going to have the prophet Ezekiel. And guess what? His sign is the same. It turns out that it's not all that important. You and I, I'm not sure most of us could tell the difference between Elijah and Ezekiel. <laughs> in sign language, uh, if it were the Bible class, I'd be fingerspelling it. In a song, we just 
Elijah and Ezekiel. Okay? Got that. Declaring the word of the Lord. Declare. In my mouth, being spread out. Okay? Declaring the word. We left out the the. Okay? Of the Lord. Of the Lord. See, we left out the and of the in that particular phrase. Declaring the word of the Lord. Okay? And Lord is a letter L. And it starts on the shoulder opposite the elbow. Okay? And then comes down to the hip on the same side of the elbow. So it's... The, the idea is sort of like a banner. Uh, we'll see Lord. And we'll see C for Christ. M for Master. Uh, K for King. Q for Queen. P for Prince or Princess. Um, and it's all... Um, Kind of like the Miss America banner kind of thing. And it's titles. So the titles kind of run across like that. And these are the days of your servant Moses. And, okay, an open palm coming into all your fingers being together. I'm going to do it at you so you can kind of see. All right. And these are the days... Okay, we already know are the days, right? Of your servant Moses. Of your... Now, in sign language, pronouns are really, really easy. Mine, yours, you, me, okay? You, me. Mine, yours. And it's directional, okay? And so if, it's, if there were four of us in the room here... And that could be mine, hers, yours, his. Okay? It, it's a directional thing. If it were non-possessive, it's a finger. Me, hers, me, her, you, him. Okay? It's just, you point to whatever it is. Now, in sign language, Jesus and God are up there. Okay? So, mine, yours, his. Alright? Again, it's directional. Or, your servant. Okay? This is a sign for serve. Just can you flat palms up, going back and forth. Alright? And if you want, in sign language, we have like, in, in English... We'll put an ER or an, something like that at the end of a word to make it a person who does that. A server. Okay? A server. This is like the er ending for uh, sign language. You do lines down or hands down like this, and it makes a person who is that. So a Christian. A servant. Uh, what else could I do? A. Uh, uh, you get the idea. It's it. What I what I say does is it just occupationalizes the sign. All right. So servant. Moses. Now Moses happens to be famous enough to have his own sign, and his own sign is like that. Eyes. Coming out like that. And it has to do with Moses' face being so bright when he came down from the mountain that he had to have it veiled because people couldn't look at him. Okay? Moses. Righteousness being restored. Righteousness. This is a sign for right. So if you do the song right, you will have done it right. Okay? Uh, righteousness is right, 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 right. Okay? Right, right, right. Righteousness. Being is the letter B coming from the chin. Being restored. No specific sign. So what you do is you 
define it in signs. Restored, made new. Okay? And though these are days of great trial, and, we already know that one, though, and you can kind of hear that, I think, slapping. I'm exaggerating there. Don't really make it a, where you can hear it, but doesn't matter, you know? Somebody says, you know, uh, I don't know. Anyway, if you were to answer, it doesn't matter. I try to make something up. Didn't do it. Doesn't matter. All right. Do you want your tea sweetened or not? That doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, these and those doesn't matter. These are days. These are days. We already know those signs of great trial. You leave out the word of great. It's G's. Coming out. Okay. And you can do, you know, you can be sarcastic. Great. Or you can do great. Okay. The expression on the face and how you do it shows how great it is. A great trial. Okay. This is troubles. Okay. It's kind of like, it's uh, very close to the sign for frustration, which is kind of up here in the face with F's. But troubles, it's like every it's like going through the forest and having all the leaves and limbs hitting you in the face. It's a big pain. <laughs> Trial. Of famine and darkness and sword. Of again, if you want to leave it out, if you want to spell it, of famine. Zip the lips. No food, all right, and darkness, all right, and it's more than just being dark, all right, it's, see my forehead here, it's dark, darkness, and sword, your sword is on your left hand side if you are a right handed person, it's on your right hand side if you're a left handed person, you reach for the handle, you pull it out, and you swing it. More pantomime than it is sign. We are the voice in the desert crying. We is point to your chest on the same side as your elbow, and then point to your chest on the opposite side from your elbow. Okay? And if you were left-handed, it would be we. Okay? We are the voice on, in the desert, we are, we already know that, leave out the voice. It's the letter V coming up on your neck. Because that's where the voice is, it's here. The voice in the desert. The dry, dirty area. Alright? Uh, the desert is the dry land. Okay? Dry, it's like Wiping the, the water off of your lips. Dry. Desert. Dirty. You know how you've uh, touched something that's been out on a, you know, a swing set or something that's been out in the, in, the, in, the, in the wind and it's got this little silt stuff on it. You touch it and you go, ooh, what's that? That's the sign. Okay? Dirt. That's the sign for dirt. And... A land is a dirt area, okay? You start here, and you just describe this area out in front of you, okay? Crying. Now, this isn't crying. No. This is announcing, okay? John the Baptist didn't come out whining and crying, prepare ye the way of the Lord, boo-hoo. No. He announced it, crying, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Okay? Prepare. You're going to lay things out in a nice, even fashion. Prepare ye. Alright? Now, remember? Pronoun? You. You all. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Sign for y'all is just point to everybody out there. The way of the Lord. The way is W's going out and then coming. 
going up. Way. No, take that back. It's straight. Way. No going up. Way of the Lord. All right? Got two signs confused there. Please reject that first part of going up. Just straight. Way of the Lord. All right? That's the first verse. Practice the first verse before you go on to the next one, okay? Get the first part of it done, okay? The next is, Behold, He comes. Now, where is He going to be coming from? Is He going to be coming from the people in front of you? No. He's going to be coming from up there somewhere. So, if you're going to be beholding Him coming, you're going to be looking up. And don't look up with only your sign eyes. Look up with your real eyes too. Behold. Okay. This finger is saying pay attention. And this finger is saying look. And your eyes are all focusing way up there. Behold. Point to your, your eye. And then look up. Behold. He. There's a pronoun pointing up again. Comes. It's rolling towards you. Okay. Uh, if you think of a wheel and it's rolling towards you, it's coming. If it's rolling away from you, it's going. All right? Behold, he comes, riding on the clouds. Riding. It's kind of like a ski lift. You know, you get up, you sit on the ski lift, these are your feet. And you go up on the ski lift down. All right? So that's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be riding this cloudly ski lift. Riding on the clouds. And just kind of draw a picture of your head in your head of a cloud. It's a big fluffy thing. And then kind of define it with your hands. Alright? That's what a cloud is. Shining like the sun. Shining. Shining. And it's kind of a, a wiggle. All right, and it's two things just wiggling up, shining like it's the same here as it is here. All right, shining like you can also sign this as like the sun. I think I like that better. Right? Like the sun, this is the same as, and um, you can use that sign in a lot of different ways. You can do it like if you say, you know, I like. Uh, Chocolate ice cream. I can go. That means you and I are the same. We both like chocolate ice cream. Okay? But anyway, like, it's kind of a wiggling back and forth, like the sun. Okay? At, you just hit your wrist with your fingertips. At, the trumpet's call. Trumpet, pretend you're playing a trumpet. Now, I know the trumpet only has like four keys. But we're going to add four or five more over here, all right? Trumpet uh, call. This isn't like, give me a call. This is call as in, I'm calling today, calling today kind of thing. Jesus is calling you. Mom is calling you for dinner. Call, okay? So lift your voice. We're going to leave out the word so. So is a word that has no meaning. Try to describe, define the word so. It doesn't have a definition. It's an emphasis. All right? So lift your voice. And I'm not even going to do lift your. I'm going to say you lift your voice. All right? Your voice. Lift your voice. And you can put the finger right here to say you if you want to. But really the sign is lift your voice. It's the year of Jubilee. Leave out the word it. Leave out the word the. And just say year of Jubilee. Okay? Um, year. This is the earth going around the sun. Alright? It goes around once. That's the year. A year of Jubilee. This is like on uh, New Year's Eve, and you have those little noise makers, you're rawr, 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 okay? Or you have a little flag, you're flag circling. Uh, you're joyous, you're. Uh,
out of Zion's hill. Out of. All right, now, there's nothing, this isn't a hobbit. The, the salvation isn't living in an underground. It is from the hill. Okay, so, and from Zion's hill, salvation comes. All right. I'm trying to give a better way to sign that. I think that's still the best way to sign that. Uh, and if you leave out the word out of and from and just say Zion's hill, salvation comes, that would probably work as well. Zion. Hands up. This is a sign for heaven. Okay. All right. Up. Slide one under the other and come apart. Zion's hill. Knock on your hand. That's a rock. And then go up. That's a hill. If it were a mountain, it'd be a rock, and it'd be a little steeper. Okay? <laughs> Salvation comes. Salvation is the letter S. Cross your arms, and then, like, I'm free! Salvation. Alright? Comes. Comes. And that's the chorus. Really practice the chorus because you're going to do it a second time down at the bottom. Then you do the second half of it one more time. Okay, so get the chorus down good. Second verse: These are the days of Ezekiel. You already know how to sign this one. These are the days of Ezekiel. Where he talked about Ezekiel and prophets and all that kind of stuff. Dry bones becoming as flesh. Dry, remember that from desert? Bones, point to the knuckles on your, on your other hand. Okay? Becoming as flesh. Just kind of give yourself a little pinch right there. Okay? And these days... Ah, look, I have a typo. These are the days of your servant. We already did all those, right? David. David turns out to also be famous enough to have his own sign. The letter D coming across. Can you figure out why that would be? Remember, uh, king and lord D for David. Comes in real handy for things like Nebuchadnezzar, too. You don't want to fingerspell all that. Just put an N and come across, and you've got Nebuchadnezzar. It's a king, David. Okay? Rebuilding the temple of praise. Building. It's kind of like putting bricks on. Okay? Building the temple. It's the letter T. And it's just kind of tapping the top of your other hand. The temple of praise. It's a golf clap, okay? Uh, not it's praise, all right? And these are the days of the harvest. And these are the days of the harvest. Here's your field, and you're going to be taking the stuff out of the field, harvest. Okay, got that? Are you noticing that most of the signs in this second set of verses, second second verse, are the same as the one in the first? So once you get the first one done, the second one's going to be a lot easier. The fields, okay, this is the letter F. Remember this was an area, and if I want to do dirty area, that's land. If I do an F and go out, that's fields, okay. R same white in your world. Alright? The fields are as white in your world. Is what the words are. The fields are as white in your world. Okay? White. Kind of start at the middle of the chest and just come out to where all your fingers are together. White in, make a cup, take your fingers, they're still together from white, alright, and just put them in here, in your 
talking about God, so it's upstairs, your world. It's the letter W. And, they do. and we are laborers in your vineyard, declaring the word of the Lord. Okay, we are, and we already know those signs, laborers. In the bottom part of your wrist, hitting the top part of your wrist, worker is a sign for work. A person who does work is a laborer. Remember, this is how we add the person doing this to make it a word. This is like the ER ending. A worker, laborer, in your vineyard. It's V, it's vines, okay, it's letter V, and it's kind of climbing up the hand. All right, this is like a wall, vines covering a wall. All right, and it's not just vines covering the yard wall, it's vines in a yard. Okay, so vineyard, like desert and field and vineyard, declaring the word of the Lord. The word declaring is like crying, it's like announcing, all those kind of things. Declaring. And you just kind of start at the chin and come out. Just like we were doing earlier when we were crying in the wilderness. Okay? Uh, the word of the Lord. Word. You kind of make a G and put it on the end of your finger. And that is word. Okay? Of the Lord. Of the Lord. And that's the song. Alright? The rest is, uh, it'll repeat again the, the uh, chorus. And then it will repeat the second half of the chorus. Alright? So, that's it. Looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Be sure to practice hard with this. Once you feel like you've gotten through this and you've gotten the phrasing down and you've gotten to where you can actually sign this, not jerkily, but these are the days of Elijah. All right? And you can sign it in phrases like that. Then go on to the next set of video, or the next video, which is the... Song sung really, really slow, but it'll let you get practice getting through the song. Then once you get through that, then go on to the last video, which will be the song itself sung and signed as if it were to be done at the convention. Good luck. Look forward to seeing you there. Thanks.